Hello, everybody, and welcome to Exploring Fort Saskatchewan with your hosts, Mayor Gail Catcher and Curtis Dominic. All right. We're firing it up again. Okay. This is our go-to move right here. (laughs) That's it. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another podcast of Exploring Fort Saskatchewan. Uh, before we start, we want you to take a look and see if you notice any differences from last week's to this week's. If you can, write it in. Um, but you know what? Uh, we're going to be talking about something really great today. I'm Curtis Dominic, and I'm here as always with the mayor of our beautiful city. Again, I mentioned it before, there's no snow. I'm so happy we're turning the corner. Mayor Gail Ketcher, how are you? I'm excellent. So I'm hoping that everybody's going to notice what I'm wearing here because we want to talk about this very, very special occasion that is happening in Canada this year, in 2017, which is... Oh my God, it's the 150th, I want to say birthday. It's It's birthday. It's the birthday of Canada, 150 years old. Can you imagine that? We live in such an amazing country we're free it, it's great it's it's abundant with everything this is an amazing country to live in and it to is. celebrate its 150th birthday wow it is so we want to talk a little bit on this uh, video cast about what's going on in fort saskatchewan for canada's 150th birthday because we have such a rich history in fort saskatchewan we've been here a very very long time but you know what we want to make sure that there are uh, lots of activities going on and that we're out there talking about canada's 150th birthday all year long I mean, birthdays to me aren't just about one day. They're about the whole year. And when you're 150 years old, hey, come on. We want to celebrate you all year long. So when I'm 150, I expect <laughs> everybody to be out there celebrating. That's right. <laughs> I shouldn't say I live to 150 or something. So oh. a lot of everybody's going to see, probably in the schools, they're going to see this emblem that's going on. And uh, this is what they're using for Canada's 150th birthday. Now, in Fort Saskatchewan, uh, we're going to start off, uh, of course, we started off already this year with the trade show that we had talked about earlier, Bigger and Better, and at the Canada booth, everybody was wearing their sheep t-shirts, which celebrate uh, 25 years of having the sheep in Fort Saskatchewan. But on the back of our shirts, we actually had this emblem, and we were celebrating our history and what Fort Saskatchewan means in Canada, and we do have such rich history. But anyway, coming up, Pioneer House is going to be celebrating their 50th anniversary. So on May 13th, come out, join Pioneer House Club 50 from noon to about 2 or 3 o'clock with a cake cutting at 1 o'clock. You know, this is pretty special. These are our senior citizens who have built our country. And you know what? They, they establish this club and they say, if you're 50 plus, come on out. And I tell you, we got a lot of people who are over 90 years old that, that uh, are at Pioneer House. Oh yeah, they help build this country. Like when we look at it, uh, I know I think I mentioned my grandfather. He cut uh, trees uh, further up north in Alberta. He laid uh, rail. He did a lot of stuff. And it's the older generations that have have built and created what we have today and we we have to thank them it's it's the respect of our older generations they've done a lot uh to to give us what we have today and uh i think that this is great you you had me the moment you had cake but i'm going to be there to <laughs> to uh, go and thank them for what they've done 50 years in the community that's amazing it's it's pretty outstanding and i mean like i said We have seniors there from, well, you know what? I don't call you a senior when you're 50, but anytime you can go out and socialize. She's almost a senior. Oh, gosh. What can I say? Wah, wah, wah. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, come out to Pioneer House Club 50 on May 13th and celebrate their 50th anniversary as part of Canada's 150th. Now, on June 15th, so... Last year, I guess, sir, actually it's over a year ago, we started planning for what was going to happen in Fort Saskatchewan for our 150th uh, celebration. 
So when you have these special milestones, the federal government uh, gives money to communities. Now, they don't give tons of money that you can go out and build a facility or something, but they give you uh, an amount of money to say, do something in your community that will mark the 150th anniversary. So as council, we thought about this long and hard, and we said, okay, with the money that we're getting, what would be good? And what we decided was we were going to enhance our art in public places, and we were going to do another statue at the entrance to Legacy Park, because this is where the pioneers came when they decided to make their move to Fort Saskatchewan, and there was actually train tracks there. So the CN station Whoa. where it's located, there was train tracks, and that's where the pioneers got off the train, and uh, they had their old trunks because they didn't have luggage like we have nowadays. Yeah. So the statue will be of a mother and a father, a little boy, a little girl. I think there's a dog involved and, and their trunk. So come out on June 15th to see the newest piece of this artwork. It's going to be spectacular, and we thank the federal government for funding this for us. Absolutely. You know, and the people talk about this kind of stuff, but look what they do. They, they, they generously give money so that we can celebrate our 150th birthday. That, yeah. That's amazing. For every city, like you're saying, every city they give some money to, and now we get to show, I know exactly what you're talking about. Just coming off that train, you're starting a new life in a new city. You're taking a big chance. And they came here. No, that, that I think you guys nailed it right on the head. That's going to be perfect. I know. You know what's really funny about this, Curtis, is when we talked about it initially, and so it came to a budget meeting, and it was funny because I went home and Wayne says to me, a statue? Why would you do a statue? And I said, think about it, sweetheart. When we go on vacation... Where do you get your picture taken? I said, every time we go on a vacation, we have to hunt down every statue there is. <laughs> and and uh, you know what? And we have our picture taken because it reminds us of where we were. Hey, everybody. Just taking a quick moment out to stop the podcast just to thank the people that helped bring this Exploring Fort Saskatchewan to you. First off, we've got Joel at the Canadian Brew House. This place is amazing. You can go down there just to get a ride to go to the Edmonton Oiler Games, to have a quick bite to eat, to enjoy the brews, to enjoy the ambiance. It's a great place to take the family or just kick your shoes off at the end of a long day of work. Second, uh, I don't look this good just getting out of the bed. Okay, confession, yes I do. But in part, it's to Frankie at Frankie's Barbershop. Uh, he's amazing. You go in there and he'll give you whatever you want in the way of the newest hairstyles, beards, anything. He takes such great care, care of you. Uh, it's like you're a member of the family when you walk in. Shakes your hand right away, sit down, treats you so well. Go there. Frankie's Barbershop. I know everybody likes gaming, board gamings. I certainly do. The best place to go to in all of the Edmonton area, and especially here in Fort Saskatchewan, Fort gaming and collectibles. Go there, tell them that I sent you. Go see Shane. Shane's the guy you want to go see. He's got all the newest board games. He's got all the newest magic, which I understand is this new crazy game that's taken over by storm. I have no clue. Go in there though, tell them I sent you the board games are great. Lastly, but certainly not least, is a good friend of mine. You're going to see some podcasts coming up with him. He's the zombie master of Canada. I'm going to put a picture up probably right here. His work is incredible. Rob Cicchetto Zombie Portraits. He'll take any picture, including wedding photos, which are incredible, and zombify them. And I guess last but not least, I've already said last but not least, us, Dominic Digital. We are a digital media and advertising marketing company here in the fort. We do all sorts of things like social media. We'll set up a website for you. Secondly, we're actually going to market it for you and make sure that people show up. This is what we're doing. Look, look at this. It's a great podcast. Check out more podcasts on the Dominic Digital um, family, I guess umbrella, family of podcasts. And uh, I guess I'm done. I'm going to send you back to the podcast now with myself and the mayor.
That you know what? That's it exactly. And the fort has such a rich history that this is just going to be another one of those centerpiece statues that people are going to want to take pictures with. Well, it's going to be super cool because it's going to be at ground level. So picture yourself. You can maybe dress up in historic costume, or you can just bring your family out and get your picture taken by the CN station with this bronze family, and then get on the caboose and have your picture taken there. What? And I think the caboose at the CN station for people who are doing weddings, that's one of the most highly uh, photographed ones because they get on there and the bride and groom are always waving. It looks like they're going on their honeymoon. So it's going to be another photo opportunity in Fort Saskatchewan. So very excited. June 15th, come out and celebrate this new piece. Absolutely. Yes. So the big day. Not yes. Now we're moving on to the big day. Which is? What is it? Is it July 4th? Ah, no. no, that's the United States Congress. Okay, July 1st. <laughs> July, I was just kidding. July 1st, this year, Fort Saskatchewan, we've got some amazing plans. This is the place you're going to want to come. We Fireworks, we, we have the fireworks. We've got a band coming. We have everybody getting together. This is going to be a day from beginning to end that's going to celebrate our 150th birthday, and it's going to be amazing. It is. It is. And it's going to start off in Fort Saskatchewan. We're going to call it the biggest party event ever because, uh, you know, the city has just said, you know what, it's a special, special celebration. We're taking a little bit of the federal funding as well to enhance everything that's going off. So mark your calendars. You are going to want to be in Fort Saskatchewan on July 1st. It's going to start out with a delicious pancake breakfast. Oh, my God. And our fire department are generally the ones cooking it so we know it's good and, and it's safe out there. And, you know, they're out there and they'll be flipping those pancakes. And that usually takes place at the nor- uh, out uh by the Legion at the Normandy Room. And then we go from there and we get downtown and the parade is probably going to be bigger than it ever was. And I'm going to encourage everybody, think about heritage days. Dress up. Think about what your business might have been a number of years ago. Dress the part. Be part of it. I know I'm going to dress in my period costume, and it's going to be really, really cool. I might have to ask the city for a favor then. I've got the beard, but I might need the old-timey clothes. Well, you could always go volunteer. <laughs> hey, okay, there we go. So then, after the parade, you're going to want to get to immediately over to Legacy Park for more exciting activities. And this year, they're going to have activities for all ages. They said they're going to have the hamster cage or the hamster balls that you can go around. No way. Yes, so you'll have those. We are going to have the car show that's taking place in downtown Fort Saskatchewan. Uh, There are going to be so many activities. The Heritage Precinct will be open. You can tour the fort. And, of course, as you know, we are going to have Glass Tiger performing later that evening. And then you can head to the fireworks. So I think they're going to be bigger and better than they were any other year. This year, we are going all out. Party of 150 years. Wow. What can I say? I'm excited. No, I'm excited. You said that. I'm excited. Uh, uh, This is something. I know last year's was great, and now this event, we're bumping it up even more. It's a a place to be Fort Saskatchewan. you got to come down. Now, now we were talking about something before this. Yes. What what do we want to do with this? Well, what I'd really like to do is I would really like the public to get on and share their comments and talk about uh, what they might be doing for Canada's 150th birthday. If you're a nonprofit organization or uh, if you're one of our citizens, whether you're young or whether you're old, get on and share your comments about what you would like to see or what you were going to do for Canada's 150th birthday. So when we come back to this, I'm going to say, let's do this over the course of the next uh, uh, month. And uh, we'll go back and we'll take a look at those comments. And for the best comment or the best suggestion, I'm going to personally give that 
individual a prize. Curtis and I will take a look at them and we will uh, see what the best idea is, the best suggestion is. Have your kids color something and post a picture of of it uh, in the comment section. And if you do that about Canada Day, you know what? We'll figure out who's got the best idea, the best picture, the best suggestion, and I will personally give a prize to be announced later. How does that sound to you, Curtis? That sounds amazing. The only prize that I could think is to put the kid on one of the sheeps and just watch them take off. The but sheeps. The, the <laughs> <laughs> we don't have sheeps. We have a sheep. sheep. <laughs> well, you know what? I think every podcast, I, I, I mistake something. Put uh, Anyway, you guys know what I meant. Put one of the kids on the, one of the sheep and just watch them take off. But that that's just me so remember this podcast this video cast is all about exploring our beautiful city of Fort Saskatchewan get involved get creative let's see what you're going to do for Fort Saskatchewan celebration of Canada's 150th birthday let's end it there all right here we go I'm going to go way back here Whoa. thanks for joining us we're going to see you guys next week have a great week Exploring Fort Saskatchewan is a product of Dominic Digital.